Hi, this is Mike Buckner. Welcome to Fielder's Mill, located in rural Talbot County. We've been at Grist Mill since 1840. The building we'll be looking at was built in 1930 after the old mill burned. And as we travel down this uh, sandy dirt road on the fall line, well, we'll travel down the road about a mile to the mill. Our place is called Patchelaggy Plantation. It began in 1830 and we've been adding to it ever since. Now, my dad's family uh, came to Talbot County prior to 1830 and we've been there ever since. Here we are in front of the grist mill and I'm demonstrating how we sharpen the millstones. This is the bottom stone, you'll notice it's very thin. And then here is the revolving screen or corn cleaner that my granddad made about 1930. Uh, the corn is poured in the hopper and it goes through the screen as it revolves. It sifts out the weed seed, sand, small trash, small particles. From there, it's taken upstairs by a, um, a conveyor belt with cups on it. Picks up the corn down at the bottom at the floor, carries it upstairs and delivers it into a large holding pipe, sort of a uh, reservoir area for the corn. And of course, I'm always inspecting to look for larger particles that the screen won't uh, sift out. From the pipe, we can uh, let it into the mill hopper as we need it. And again, we uh, need to check to be sure because the screen only gets things out that's smaller than the grain of corn. Our corn is a white, open pollinated corn we get from Trenton, Kentucky. It's a um, it's an old-fashioned corn, has oil in it, it's not hybrid, and it makes, has much more taste to it than the hybrid corns. We can actually grind about 200 pounds an hour. Here we are under the grist mill where the well and the turbine are located, and we'll soon let the water in, and it will, uh, as it builds up uh, in the well, it produces the pressure and weight to turn the water turbine. By the way, this is the headwaters of the Patchelaggy Creek that flows into the uh, Flint River. It, uh, and of course, as the mill begins to turn, I need to inspect and clean, and be sure there's nothing, uh, any obstructions there. And uh, the mill is running about 400 RPM, and when the mill is the right consistency, it will clump together like this. We don't want it to just to ball up, but we want it to have a sort of a clump feel. The millstone runs about 400 RPM, and as the grains fall down through the center of that eye there, it spreads out between the, the bottom stone and the top stone. The water wheel in the back of the mill is just there for looks. Uh, everybody likes to see a big wheel turn. But then as the mill is ground, I have to stir it, mix it, because it's, it sort of separates. Uh, the smaller particles fall to one side, larger particles to another. So before I bag it, I have to mix it. And we bag it in two and five pound bags. Years ago, 10 pounds was a favorite, but today, five pounds. I've been running the mill about 48 years. Uh, grew up at the mill and uh, made my college spending money at the mill on the weekends. We even print our own meal bags right there on site. Now I think we're going to make grit, so we're raising the stone. As you see, I turn that wheel, I'm actually raising the top stone of maybe a sixteenth, an eighth of an inch and will grind the grain much coarser, and which produces grits. But there's no difference between cornmeal and grits except the, uh, the texture. Our grits will take about 45 minutes to cook. You have to wash our grits, and that means you put them in a bowl, and, and uh, the bran floats to the top, and you pull that off, and then you can let them soak overnight, or either Crock, cook them in your crock pot or cook them for about 45 minutes on slow heat. There again, the grits have to be mixed thoroughly before we bag them. 
grits grind much faster, so uh, we can grind maybe 300 pounds in, uh, in about 30 minutes because we're not using, it's not grinding as fine. In the early days, they used a string to tie the bags, but we use a copper wire. What we're talking about is we're roughening the stone back up. Okay. It grinds and polishes up. The grain mm -hmm. will actually polish it. So you want to roughen it up and give it a, a textured feel to it so that it will grind the grain. And there's a misnomer. People will say, oh, I'm going to the grits mill. Well, there's no such thing as a grits mill. It's grist, G-R-I-S-T, which means grain mill. And you, of course, we grind grits and flour and the corn meal. But it's not a grits mill. And I try to correct my friends if they don't like. <laughs> and so the different hammers have different effects? That's right. Okay. My grandmother gave me the mill as long as I retain the name Fielder's Mill. Uh, she didn't have any boys, so it will forevermore be Fielder's Mill.